What's up everybody, Nayla here at Nalitech Studio. So today we are taking a look at the building of the year 2021. So if you are a follower of Arc Daily, link in the description, you get to choose your building of the year and you consider its beauty, intelligence, creativity and its service to the community. We have about 15 categories and you can see the winners for the office section, for the religious architecture, hospitality architecture, and the healthcare architecture. And what did stand out for me was this one right here, which is the Apple Central, located in Bangkok and designed by Foster and Partners. The question we are answering today is that, is it possible to model such a thing in Akikad? Well, I guess we have to find out in this video. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to concentrate on the curtain walls, which are responsible for these uh, 360 degree views across the building on all of side, which is kind of awesome. If you have missed the first part where we discuss how to model this uh, central tree like thing, the link is somewhere up on the screen. You can go ahead and watch how we created that awesome shape. And now today we are just doing this glass right here. So for that, we need some reference images, which I have attached in the description below. So download them and you can scale them up using the scale sliders that you see at the bottom of these two drawings. And then now we can begin to draw this thing. So first of all, we need to understand what's going on. I can see some mullions along this, this side. Pretty cool. Now we need to find out how where they are located so for that i'm going to use a in document a simple line i'm going to draw one which is dotted to signify those positions so with that selected i can see we have one two three four five six and the seventh is here so let's divide this into seven so control u to go here and rotate and distribute so we rotate distributed copies of about seven and we need to rotate to path so that when we say okay using the center line which we can hover over here to see that and then we can go ahead and make those seven overlap like that which is uh, awesome because we can see that uh, we have these positions captured for the columns but also the glass has one more mullion which is in between so we can see if we measure from right here up to there it's about yeah 4.7 and in between we have this mullion right there so how do we find that position well we need to make a copy of this uh, so this is 26 degrees in between 26 is about 13 i guess so let me also group those ones such that it's easy to select. So this is how the mullions are. The mullions are about, if I measure, this is um, 2.560. Mm, I think that's the uh, dimension that I'm going to use. So in order for us to create those mullions, we are going to use the curtain wall, which is found right here. So double click that and we go to the settings which are here. So in the settings, first of all, we need to change the scheme uh, one to a simple one. So let's remove this one such that we have only one here and then there as well, we just create one. And then the sizes, we want it to be, so let me first say, okay, in order to determine what uh, the size of the height is. so. We want to use the size, the height to be this one here. It's about 3.2 something, 3.2. And uh, we already did measure that, which is um, the distance A as 2.560. And then the height as 3.2, which is the same as the height of the door that we do have. And now for these parts here this is supposed to be a main panel which has the glass and this is supposed to be a mullion so we can keep it that way and then here 
instead of having a transom at this place so with that selected a transom we are going to just use division because uh, if we look at the reference right here we actually do not have the, the horizontal mullions we just have these vertical ones so i'll go back here i'll change it to division such that uh, it's easy so Either you could change it to no merge or division, but I like to change it to division because I will need to put a door. Because if I merge them, it will be hard for me to put a door. So next is uh, to determine the sizes of those mullions. So here, when you come to frames, here is where you can determine the sizes. If you go here on million frame type. So we have uh, this like this. And um, so you can decide how big they are and uh, for now let's first draw what we have just made such that we can come back and tweak further so the method we are going to use we go up here right there and i think we can choose the first option which is drawing from the center right there and now let's spread outward until we get to this place now i can see that we have um our mullion too close here so i think i need to to dissolve it in so i come in and see until i get the center right there where both mullions are together i double click to place this thing and uh, it's uh, placed quite a bit accurately which is good for us so in order to see what that looks like if we can select and go to 3d by pressing f5 and this is what we have so first of all the height is wrong so going to the settings in the curtain wall here we can decide how high it is so it's spanning two stories which is 5.5 which makes it 11 um, meters great so if i say okay yes that's it so now there we have it we now have it so next is to determine that door right there to put it in in order for us to put it in we will just activate this 3d cutaway such that it's easy to know where to put this thing and i think i will cut from around here so let's go back f5 so exactly so this is where my door is supposed to be so i can come here and with this selected i need to go to edit in order to access the edit so we can see we have uh, this is where the curtain wall is supposed to be so if we analyze this image right here you can see that really we have uh, one single door if i may zoom in one single door comes from the center of this mullion to the center of this one right here so if you contextually see that so we have the door from the middle to the middle here and then a division right there so we need to kind of create that so we can choose a mullion which is uh, one of these so this is a transom oh well you can use a transom or mullion whichever i'm going to choose a mullion and i need it to span from here all the way to there so that's it and here to there so we have that but then also the door starts from the middle of this one and the middle of this one right there yeah and there you have it so now those two are supposed to be the actual door and uh, from the reference as well we do not actually have those mullions showing like this uh so it's 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 uh, just a division so when we go back here select these two and instead of having them showing we can make it just a division such that uh, it's just a simple division and this one as well division yeah great so now these two are supposed to be doors so in the settings i can make them doors 
a, a single pen door, make it open outside. And uh, what does it look like? Here in the leaf, you can determine how it looks like. And I think this is the type that was used. And the closest handle to use is something like Style 15. And what it looks like in 3D, we can remove the opening lines for these. And we say, okay, so this is what we have. Pretty cool. But we need to flip this one. It's supposed to be side hung mirrored. So when we go back to the settings, we can actually come back to the door setting here and remove and make this side hung such that it opens from right there. So that's pretty cool. So it's now close to what we do have in the reference. And also in the ground floor, you can see that it represents correctly. So now we can remove this. And uh, if I select this F5 to see what it looks like, there we have it. And if we want the sort of dark look, we can change what it looks like, what the curtain wall looks like in 3D. So when we go to settings in the frames, we can um, make this curtain wall uh, be overridden by a color that we choose. And I think metal, metal iron looks good. And for the boundary as well, we can choose the same thing. So when we say, okay, we have something a little bit darker, which looks quite good. And this is what it looks like in the 3D in context with the rest of the things. And I think this is quite awesome. So subscribe if you haven't, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.